Hi, this is Derek with Your Optic, and today on Spotlight, we are looking at some red dots from Scandinavia. It is Sweden to be exact, and they make some of my favorite things. They make my favorite pastry, mm. my favorite supercar, and my favorite red dots. The company is Aimpoint, and they're basically one of the most well-known red dot manufacturers on the market, and for good reason. Their pedigree with military uh, uses is unmatched. Here we are looking at the Micro T2 series, and the first thing that I think of when I hear Aimpoint is battery life. And on these, it is pretty substantial, 50,000 hours, which is longer these days than most marriages. He fell in love with me and I fell in love with him and now my feelings have changed. Now one of the good things about such a crazy battery life is that should you use this on a defensive weapon, you can just leave it on. There's, there's, there's no reason to have to fiddle with it and turn it on in the event that you need it. So as something for home defense especially, you can leave this, leave the red dot on whatever weapon that you have it on and then that way it's just there and ready for you. As far as the settings go, it has four night vision settings, so which would only really work if you pair it up with a PVS-14 right behind it or, or a similar optic. It has to be mounted to the rifle itself. That's how it should be. Rather, I find it very difficult to use a head-mounted night vision device while trying to look through the dot. It's a little awkward. Um, it also has eight daytime running settings, so it has plenty there. Something else that Aimpoint is well known for is that their optics are tough as f With the T2, one of the upgrades over the T1 of a couple years ago is that you have the turret very well protected by this part of the body. So there's basically no chance of the turret getting sheared off if the optic takes a hit. And one thing that I do want to mention, and we get uh, a good number of calls on this, um, the front lens on these is actually, like pretty much all red dots of this style, is supposed to have a slight angle to it. We'll put a video out later describing why, but that is normal. These are also waterproof down to a depth of 80 feet, which is good if you'd like to get to your range via SDV. <laughs> Now all these are the same exact red dot, they just vary in their mount. So this one, as you can see, has no mount, and we'll come back to that here in a second. We have this one here with the low mount. This is gonna be ideal for things like shotguns, AKs, and uh, most of your sort of submachine gun type, type weapons. Then you have the one with the 39 millimeter spacer, which is a lower one third height if you're using this on an AR. Also has the quick detach lever here, which is very much repeatable, and I've tried this myself to make sure that it is. So there is that. If we go back to the one with uh, no mounts, sometimes you want to choose your own sort of mount for it, depending on what you got. So if you're putting this on an AR and you don't like the ones that uh, Aimpoint provides, or you just simply want a taller one, I like the ScalarWorks Leap mount, which means something, but this one here is the inch point nine three, and, and the popularity of that height is, uh, really, is really getting on. I think it's a good idea to have a red dot on an AR at that height. I find it very comfortable and very quick to acquire. The ScalarWorks mount is extremely light, and with their click drive system here, you can easily install and remove it while maintaining its point of impact, and uh, even though it takes a few seconds to undo. It is very much low profile, so there's not these big levers getting in the way or getting caught on something. So I do like these leap mounts very much. So that is the Aimpoint T2. It is on sale on our website right now, so go check it out. Also, please like and subscribe to this video. We have stuff coming out all the time. To that point, uh, please comment what you'd like to see on our weekly spotlight videos, and we'll, we'll uh, check those out and try to do those as best we can. And lastly, make sure to follow us on Facebook as well as Instagram, and we'll see you next time.